Hello friends, uh, it's really exciting to see that a child of God can stand firm through various seasons of their life. Uh, today I want to talk about something that is so important for us to be anchored in the storms of life and that is our identity. 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. One of the things that God does for us when we put our faith in Him, when we repent of our sins and you know, we embrace His salvation is to make us a new creation. You know, uh, and that's wonderful because God does not just patch us up here and there and renovate us uh, and, and say that, okay, you go on with life as this patched up being. But you know, scriptures tell us that He makes us a new creation, brand new. So our identity must be embedded in uh, who we are in Christ Jesus. And self-image, uh, it's crucial. It's crucial for various reasons. It's crucial um, because of you know, the way we interact with ourselves, the way we accommodate ourselves, the way we interact with God um, will depend on our self-image. The way we interact with the world around us will depend on our self-image. And the way we face the enemy, the devil, even that is going to depend on our self-image. And which is why we have to be so anchored and rooted in our identity in Christ. We've been talking about being firm through all the seasons of life. Being anchored in our new identity in Christ will give us that stability. So what is it that has happened to us in Christ Jesus? No, we have now become children of God. And that's um, a great truth for us to embrace. No, isn't it wonderful to call God at a personal level as Abba Father and to be able to reach out to Him um, in, every, uh, in every situation of life because God becomes our Father when we accept the Lord Jesus as our Savior. We also see that in Christ Jesus, we are loved by God and we are loved by God the very same way which He loved the Lord Jesus. So there is no distinction there. No, God loves us the way He loved Jesus. And when um, my identity is in this, I will be a, a confident person no matter what I go through in my life. You know, scriptures also tell us that we have now become the friends of God. You know, we're no longer the enemies of God uh, in, on, in a different camp and against God. But you know, God is for us and that gives us great stability in our lives. We understand that we have now been justified. We have become uh, saints. We are called as saints. Believers are called as saints. In scripture, we are blessed. We are redeemed. We are complete. In Christ, you know, there are so many different things that have happened to us in Christ Jesus. And when I'm anchored in this reality, whether I am facing uh, personal challenges or I'm facing challenges at the workplace, uh, I'm facing challenges at the family level or wherever it is, you know, I will continue to draw my strength from who God has made me in Him and uh, the capacity that my new man now has in Christ Jesus. So friends, I just want to encourage us, be grounded and rooted in your identity in Christ Jesus and you will stand firm like that house which was built on the rock. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for who we are in Christ Jesus. Holy Spirit, we pray that Lord, you will open uh, to us this truth and let that revelation, Lord, um, completely consume us, Father, so that we can continue to stand strong, stand firm, uh, and Father, be victorious in every situation of our lives. We give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.